Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will be learning how to create a pivot table in Excel. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. So, if you're a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now, without further ado, let's get started with our one point agenda that is, how to create a pivot table in Excel. Now, let's get started with the practical mode. We are on our Excel spreadsheet. Now, creating a pivot table is just away from a few clicks. Trust me, it is just a couple of clicks and you'll have your pivot table ready to operate. Now, click any cell or select any cell on your spreadsheet, which has the data, and navigate to insert menu on the toolbar and select pivot table. And that's how simple it is. Now, automatically Excel will choose your data. You can see the lines over here, dotted lines. That means the Excel has already selected the range of data that you want to put into your pivot table. And you can either select the existing worksheet or a new worksheet. I'll select a new worksheet over here and just press on OK. And there you go. You have your pivot table ready. Now, here you can see your pivot table is a little empty. All you need to do is drag and drop the data elements that you want on your pivot table. So here you can see on our spreadsheet, we have some business data related to our stock which has furniture and states and subcategories of the furniture and all the you know in in category you have furniture office of plus technology etc right so those have some subcategories as well and different states and the regions as well and the quantity total sales happen right so using this business data we can find out some key insights of this particular data using our pivot table right so here we'll add the data now let me drag the region into rows click and drag and let me drag uh, categories into columns which are the different categories which are involved in sales data and values what are the sales happened right and there you go you have furnitures office supplies technology as the three different categories and those are the sales happened in central east south and west regions and this is the grand total and instead of regions, you know, you have all the regions over here, right? So central, east, south, west, or instead of uh, all the regions or instead of all the categories, you can, you know, place a specific category in your pivot table. For example, let me push the category into the filters. And here you can see the total sales happen in those particular regions. Now, what if someone asks you to find the sales of only furniture, right? So your manager comes to you and he'll ask you, get in the sales of only furniture. So you can select that and there you go. You have the furniture sales in all the regions, right? Or you can also do the vice versa. You can also drag uh, regions into the filters. And if you wanted to find out the region wise sales of furniture, you can also do that, right? So here we have furniture and here you have uh, all the regions and let us try to find the sales of furniture in the central region and there you go right so this is how uh, the pivot table works and you can also remove the regions for example if you wanted to remove a certain element from filters or anywhere if it is columns rows anything you can just drag and drop it right so that's how it works and also you can increase the level of detail or improve the granularity right so here we have uh, categories on our, uh, you know, columns. So you can also include subcategories into the columns, right? And, and you have the region wise sales. So in the region filter, select all, press OK. And in the category, select all press OK and you have the furniture here, office supplies here and technology here and also if you want to include the quantity how much or how many number of uh, you know things got sold in those particular categories and subcategories you can also do that so here in the furniture section books these are the sales and these are the number of quantity or elements sold in the in those particular uh, you know sectors so you can you can also improve the level of granularity you can also improve the level of detail 
using pivot tables in Excel. So that's how you use pivot tables in Excel. And with that, we have come to an end of this tutorial on how to create and use pivot tables in Excel. If you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session, or if you require the resources that we used in this session, then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be more than happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest. Until next time, thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.